testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back uh, as we are every day, uh, twice a day, uh, two shows a day. I, last week was rough because I had all the Canelo uh, Fight Week activities, but we are back. Uh, we're going to be back twice a day, every day. I did a show earlier with, uh, on Mixed Combat Radio, um, and then I'm back with the second show, and we're going to do, as you guessed, uh, Canelo Saunders' final thoughts. I'm not ready to turn the page on this quite yet. I was at the event. Um, I was in the press box. It was absolutely amazing. It was an incredible event. Eddie Hearn said, you know, the most incredible scene he'd ever been a part of. It was great that it was in uh, my home state of Texas. Uh, We're going to get into that. But before we do, please like and subscribe. Share uh, this podcast uh, on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, there's a brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Go to Texas Boxing Scene. You can see the whole press conference in its entirety. The famous press conference you can see um, on Texas Boxing Scene. And all proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a charity that's near and dear to our heart. So please uh, subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, but guys, let's get into today's show. All right, first, I want to get into uh, 73,000, a record uh, for an indoor boxing, in, 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 in not just in Texas, uh, but in the United States, um, 73,126. 73, uh, it, it was an electric atmosphere. Um, uh, speaking to Matchroom after the fight, um, they look like they're going to want to come back to Texas um, and have another fight at Cowboy Stadium in the near future. This was phenomenal. Um, we have to do this again. Uh, with Canelo, I say let's do Canelo Plant here. Uh, but let's get into the fight. Um, it, 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 if you listen to MCR podcast, you listen to my previous shows. The fight went much the way that I, um, I anticipated. I said Canelo by tenth round stoppage, and had Billy Joe not quit, the fight would have gone ten rounds. Uh, in my personal opinion, I, I think it would have went two more, and Canelo gets him out. Um, I'm not one that thought this fight was particularly close. You know, I, I thought. You know, Billy Joe was competitive, but he was losing rounds. I, I thought maybe he won two rounds. I thought the tide had shifted. I thought Canelo was in charge. Um, you know, Billy Joe was doing as well as he could. Billy Joe was absolutely doing as well as he could. I don't know that he was winning rounds. I, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure he did. He didn't land much. Canelo's is better than Billy Joe is, and, and that, that was becoming evident. But Billy Joe is very, still a very world-class, high-level, elite body with great skills. He's just not as good as Canelo. What could he do to beat Canelo? Well, nothing. Canelo's a lot better than him. And that's not a knock on Billy Joe. Um, and then we saw in the eighth round, Canelo set him up perfectly. Um, he had um, – I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought entirely. I can't think anymore at all. Um, Billy Joe uh, – Canelo went into a defensive posture, had Billy Joe wind up. Uh, take a wide shot, which you can all step side step, came inside, threw the uppercut, and broke his face. Um, perfect shot, which it actually ended the fight because it broke his orbital bone, it broke his cheek, as Canelo would say. Um, and that was it, that was the end of the fight. Um, Billy Joe went back to his corner and quit. You we, we can pretend that he didn't quit, but who stopped the fight? The ref didn't stop it, the doctor didn't stop it. So who stopped the fight? Billy Joe Saunders stopped the fight. Now, we can say that it was in his best interest for his career. It was the only logical choice he could have made, but he quit. Right? You say, you can't risk your eye. I'm not disagreeing with that. But he quit. Right? We saw Margarito against Pacquiao in that same stadium. So like he wasn't going to quit. He was going to fight on. And his, his career was never the same. So I'm not saying Billy Joe made the wrong decision in quitting. But the fact is he quit. He stopped the fight. Now, maybe it was the right decision. Maybe it was the only logical, long-term decision he could have made. But he quit. He broke his orbital bone. 
there was no again you want to say his corner stopped it there was no protest billy didn't you know you can go back and watch it there's no time in the corner that billy's saying no no i can go out do not stop it don't stop it didn't happen billy's shaking his head you know but he didn't say anything um billy quit and maybe it was the right decision for his career maybe it was the right decision for his health i don't know it very well could be but but he quit okay Canelo gets the eighth round TKO stoppage, moves on. Canelo's the best pound for pound box in the world. We know that. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to be at, at beat Canelo at 168. He's probably going to have to go up to 175 if he's going to lose. Um, but let's get into the press conference, right? Because the press conference was obviously epic. Um, I have a six year old daughter who was going around the house today uh, <laughs> saying, uh, You're a horrible father. Horrible. Right, because <laughs> I showed her the press conference again. That press conference go to Texas boxing scene. I have it's the last video I, I upload to Texas boxing the, the press conference um, in its entirety. Go check it out. Um, but that was epic, you know. Um, but Andre starts the press conference saying, "Congratulations, champ! I'm a big fan." And he goes, "I know." And then it ensues, and Canelo is absolutely hysterical. Billy Joe gets removed by security. Um, I mean, uh, Billy Joe. Andre gets removed. Andre gets removed by security, um, and, and it's kind of put to rest. Uh, Andre's not going to get a chance at Canelo at one hundred and sixty. Period. Because I think Canelo's super middleweight now, moving forward for the rest of his career. Uh, so he's going to have to come to sixty-eight. Which, if he does, then that's possible for them that they will fight in the future, which they could. Um, but Canelo's next fight, and, and that was the best press conference we've seen in years. Okay? That was the best clips, the best scene. That that was epic. That's great, Canelo. Um, Canelo's next step is, is Caleb Plant. And this is going to be his toughest fight he's had in a long time. I don't know if he – if there's anyone – I'll put it this way. If there's anyone who I think beats Canelo, it's Caleb Plant. I'm not saying Caleb Plant wins. I'm saying if I had to bet my money. If you're saying who beats Caleb, Canelo, so I'm going to beat him, who is it? My best guess, Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant has more pop. He's got more sting. I'm not saying he's going to knock people out. He's got more sting on his punches. He commits to his punches more than Billy Joe does, and he's slick. He's elusive. His skills are off the charts. This is going to be a tough fight. Um, I say let's put it back in Cowboy Stadium, but this is the fight that's next for Canelo. Hopefully it's in September. It looks like it's going to be in September. Eddie Hearn said that there's nothing that really stands in the way. Although Eddie Hearn, remember that contract is up, no longer promotes Canelo. It's just a gentleman's agreement now. It, 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 if, you know, Eddie Hearn acknowledged that they're probably, um, Fox is probably going to make a huge offer, and they will. Um, but that looks like it's going to be next. Will it involve Eddie Hearn? Probably, but we have no idea. Um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share this on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog comes at you twice a day. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news and rumors. Please also uh, like, share, and subscribe to the new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, where you can get the new Canelo press conference in its entirety, unedited in its entirety. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.